Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Early season, mid-season, late season, it really doesn't matter. The SEC doesn't wait to turn up the intensity. An early season matchup in the Southeastern Conference. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Stewart fields it at the 11. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Quick throw. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. it up the middle and down he goes the 37 yard line Cody's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically from the 37 yard line it's second down He's at the 20, to the 10. He's knocked out of bounds at the six yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. The Bulldogs always knew that this kid was going to have a great career. Highly recruited. There's his first touchdown. I'm sure there's going to be many more. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a five-play, 66-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Church is a guy that's proven to his coaching staff. Doesn't matter if he's on the road or if he's at home. He's a complete player no matter where he's playing a football game. Yeah, I think they know that they can count on him when he gets on the road and gets in this kind of tough environment because I think he has so much confidence in his skills. He can catch the ball. He can run the ball. He seems to do it all, and you're right. He seems to be the same guy whether he's playing at home or on the road. Church gets the carry, and they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. 
makes it second and six. And he's taken down around the 31 yard line. Decent pickup. The halfback goes forward for about five yards there, and that gets him the first. Draw plays work best when the offense has had success throwing the football. The defense isn't expecting run, and when that delayed handoff happens, they're nowhere near the action. Tackle made at the 37. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 37-yard line. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Drop back four yards on that one. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Stewart fields it at the 40, and he's taken down at the 44-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Georgia is up a score. He's under pressure. He fires this one. The defender had it and then dropped it. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. It's second and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Brought down at the 45. That's good for a gain of one yard. Third down. Dumps it incomplete. Wanted the screen. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Brown will be the return man. Heading for the corner. He fields the punt at the 16. Brought down at the 23. Georgia's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's tackled at the 35. He's at midfield, and he's finally brought down at the 40-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Steps up in the pocket. Now he's scrambling, and he dives forward. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line.
Gets out to around the 18. Gain of eight yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. From the 18-yard line, first down. Gets to about the 17-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Pitches out, and the ball is up for grabs. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover ball. They need to hold on to the football. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Georgia is up seven. Makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Georgia's lead is a touchdown. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Bring him down around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He fires right. Makes the grab, and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. From the 26-yard line, first down. Shoved out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pitches it, and he's hitting the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 18. Georgia up seven points. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle at the five-yard line. And they got all the big boys in there for this one. after a decent run up the gut. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. He's tackled at the one. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. He gets another carry. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. He converts the extra point. A nine-play, 71-yard drive. And the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. 
He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. He's hit and taken down. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. And now he's got room to run. Gets out to around the 48. That draw to the running back was good for nine yards. That brings in second and nine. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's exactly 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. It's our time, guys. It's our time. 91 in the mic. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Go. 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 Laterals back, and he's got space. Makes it out to about the 19. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. They failed down here the last two times. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he's tackled in the open field. Harris makes the tackle at the 10-yard line. That brings him second and one. He gets out to about the nine yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. To that quickly. Touchdown, Bulldogs. He makes the PAT. Mississippi State yet set to kick this one away. Stewart fields it at the 11. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Georgia is up by a touchdown. Throws and it's incomplete. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. From their own 33-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Right, was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Owen is waiting for the snap. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Mississippi State's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. 
uh, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes around the 40-yard line. Quickly off his hands, incomplete. Brown was the intended And they're coming after this punter. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 42 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Georgia is up a score. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. The Bulldogs will use their first time out of the half. From their own 47-yard line, second down. pass. He's got his half back. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Third down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He sails it long. Doesn't get there. We played a half of football here. George's lead is a touchdown. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. If you love or at least just appreciate great offensive line play, we're seeing it in this game. The pass rush has been completely negated, and I know that you guys on defense talk not so much all the time about sacks, but affecting the yep. quarterback. How big a deal is that? you got to find ways to make him feel uncomfortable, and you'd like to be able to do it with four people and not blitz and put your secondary at risk. But sometimes when you're not getting home, sometimes you got to bring a fifth guy, and you got to bring a guy maybe with a cornerback or a nickelback with more speed off of the edge. Right now, what they're doing is not working. they got to change it up, maybe run some line games up front where people cross and stunt but you have to affect the quarterback if you don't want him to pick you apart. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He'll return it from the one. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they make the stop at the 15. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 15-yard line. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Check 91. 91 is the mic. Mike 91. Hey, let's keep that low. Check low. Patriot. Patriot. Here we go. Here we go. Fires 
quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Long is the putter. Tackle at the 47-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Georgia is up seven. Hands it to the back. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. the 30 yard line first down the quarterback in the gun with five receivers looking for his man incomplete play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Rock down around the nine-yard line. Second and goal. Ball on the four. Georgia up seven points. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. They're going to go for the easy three here. Georgia can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The kick is up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Brown fields at the goal line. He's tackled at the 22. Georgia's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line. No game. As a man, he'll lose big yards. A four-yard loss. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go.
Third and 14. Ball on the 18. Dumps it incomplete. One of the screen. Stewart is back deep to return. Tackle made at the 46. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That'll make it second and seven. From the 43-yard line, second down. He's at the 30. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. He's under pressure. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 17-7, Georgia. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. field tackle. From the 13-yard line, first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and five. Seven. The running back gets two on the carry. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throws, and he's got a man. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. The Mountaineers have the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Mountaineers have the edge 24-20. Elsewhere, UConn taking the field at the rent. The Huskies unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. We're all tied at 24 apiece. All right, thanks, Reese. Owen, ready to kick. He'll take it from the two. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Hey, check right, check right. Hey, watch that. Hey, watch the ball. Easy, easy, easy. Check three, check three. 
scrambling around. And he's going to come up with a sack. from their own 24-yard line. It's third down. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He chucks it downfield. Incomplete. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets out to about the 21. From the 21-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. yard line. It's first down. to about the 14 yard line that makes it second and ten second down and ten to go ball on the 14 yard line and he makes it out to about the 11 yard line this one in. And the ball game's over. And our final score on this one, 24 to 7, Georgia. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.